Hello everybody, it's me, Charlotte, and today I wanted to show you a really fun and simple scarf pattern. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. It's the one row scarf. I will put a link in the description below of where you can find that pattern. But yeah, it's really fun and it's easy for a beginner to do. I think it's actually per a perfect project for a beginner. And it's fun for an experienced knitter and it goes pretty quick and it's stretchy and it has a nice texture and both sides look exactly the same. And it's just a one row repeat. So it can't get much easier than that. But first I wanna take this opportunity guys to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It really does mean the world to me. I cannot emphasize that enough that I am very appreciative of everyone who has subscribed, who has liked my videos, who has commented and shared them. I really am appreciative. I don't ever want you guys to think that I take that for granted or that I expect it. Um, if you would like to follow me on Facebook, I will put a link in the description below as well where you can follow me there. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up. It kind of helps YouTube suggest this video so it gets seen more. And uh, that's it. So yeah. Um, let me show you how to get started and basically how to do this pattern. Like I said, it's called the one row scarf and you can make it into a blanket, which I think would be cute for like a baby blanket. You can um, even put tassels or fringe on it when you're done. You can do whatever you want, it's yours. Use your imagination, be creative. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, I'm gonna use this yarn and some new needles. And all you do is it's in multiples of four plus two. So if you're a beginner and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will show you what that means. Um, I always use the long tail cast on. If you do not know how to do a long tail cast on, if you are a beginner, I will put my video on how to do a long tail cast on in the description below as well. Okay, so like I said, it's in multiples of four, plus two. So, put your slip knot on, that counts as one. And what I mean when I say multiples of four plus two is I go one, two, three, four. And I'm just gonna keep doing that in multiples of four. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, Good Lord. Two, three, four, and now plus two. So I did multiples of four. I did four, four, four. Now plus two always comes at the end. So if your pattern says multiples of 12 plus seven, you would do 12, 12, 12, and then at the very end, you're gonna cast on the plus. So in this case, it was a plus two. So I'm gonna do if I can do a long tail cast on today, one, two. So I've got my multiples of four plus my two at the end. Okay, now this is very simple. This is, the whole pattern is just in fours. So I'll show you what I mean by that also. The first stitch is a knit, that's one. Second stitch is a knit, that's two. The third stitch is a knit, but it's through the back loop. And what I mean by that is you have the front loop and you have the back loop. You want to put your needle through the back loop and knit through the back loop. Okay, so this is three. The third stitch is a knit through the back loop. The fourth stitch is a purl. Bring your yarn forward. Go in to that front like that, purl that stitch. Okay, that was your four. Now you wanna start over, do that same process. The first one is a knit, so it's knit, knit, knit through the back loop, and the fourth is a purl. So you bring your yarn in front, you slide your right needle in that front loop and you purl. 
and you start out, you do it again. You do knit, knit, knit through the back loop, and a purl. And every row will end with a knit two. So I have two stitches left. I'm going to do a knit and a knit. Maybe. Like that. Okay, that's row one. Row two, exactly the same. It's a knit, knit, knit through the back loop, and a purl. And that's all there is to it. And let's say you step away for a minute or you have to, someone's calling you and you need to step away from your work. What I do to ensure that I don't lose my place is I always make sure that I do the four stitches. So I go, okay, knit, someone's calling me, hold on two seconds, knit through the back loop and purl. And then I end with my purl and then I get up and I do what I got to do. And then I know when I come back that I'm starting the whole new repeat like process. I'm going to do the knit, knit, knit through the back loop and the purl. I always end on a purl if I need to step away. That way I know when I come back, I know exactly where to start. When you get further along in the project and it becomes bigger like this, these ridges that stick out, that's going to be your knit through the back loop. I'm sure you'll catch on the more you do it. You'll find your own way of knowing where you are in the pattern if you do have to walk away. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. It's very simple. It's fun. It's stretchy. It looks nice on both sides. You can make it into a blanket, a scarf. You can add fringe. The options are endless. You guys can make it your own, change the color, um, whatever. I think it'll be fun. Again, guys, I want to thank you all who have subscribed to my channel. It really does mean the world to me. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please leave a comment below. Say anything you like. Um, and that's it, guys. Until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day. And happy knitting. Bye.